I'm Carl Bishop, and this is American Garden Tour. I'm here today at the Bayou Bend Collection and Gardens. Today I'm gonna to take you on an exclusive tour on day one of one of the rites of spring in Houston, Texas, the Azalea Trail. The Azalea Trail is a home and garden tour started by the River Oaks Garden Club in the 1930s. And it's a great opportunity for azalea lovers to see some of the finest gardens in Houston. And yes, I can see my breath. It's uncharacteristically chilly here today in Houston. And it is no matter because the Azalea Trail is on. Curator of Gardens, Bart Brechter, is here with me today to give us some history and tell us more about the gardens. Right now, we're standing on the upper terrace in the north side of Miss Ima Hogg's home. Ima Hogg was an amazing woman. After almost becoming a concert pianist, she helped start the Houston Symphony Orchestra. Her concern for mental illness inspired her to open the Houston Child Guidance Clinic. But it was her love of beauty and nature that led her to introduce the azalea to the Houston garden scene. Okay, so we've been glossing over the name, I'm a hog. But if you get Texas, and I lived in Texas for six years, so I get it, then it wouldn't be the least bit odd to you that a man named Hogg would name his daughter Ima. The collection here in the gardens at Bayou Bend is a collection of azaleas and camellias encompassing 14 acres here at Bayou Bend Gardens. Ms. Hogg was an avid collector of everything. And if she had one, she needed more. The first azalea she brought to Houston were a purple azalea called Omarasaki. They are evergreen, but they give you a bloom in the springtime. She bought seven Omarasaki azaleas, planted them, and they did really well. So the following year, she bought 200 more different azaleas. And from there, we have over 10,000 azaleas here on property. The azalea, part of the rhododendron family, is native to North America, Asia, and Europe, and festivals like the Azalea Trail happen all over the world to herald the arrival of its beautiful blooms. But just remember, it's highly toxic, so don't go kissing any honeybees that have been tasting its pollen. She had collected many different hybrids of azaleas. Gigi Gerving is white, Elegans is pink, Fisher Pink looks exactly like Elegans, but with seven stamens instead of five. And those other ones that you could find in our landscapes throughout Houston are also very prevalent. English and French style gardens uh, she really highlighted were the parterre style, where you would have a garden that's meant to look from above and have geometric shapes. So if it's not in bloom, it still hold interest as you move through the garden. In 1927, when Ms. Hogg was building her home here at Bow Bend, she was on the tail end of a movement of landscape architect called the Country Place Era Movement. So what that really entails is garden rooms that surrounded the house meant to entertain and to beautify the home. The north side of the house also has three statues which these gardens are named after. The statue of Cleo, of Diana, the goddess of the hunt, and Euterpe. Both Cleo and Euterpe are muses. Cleo is the muse of history, and Euterpe is the muse of music. One of the things I love the most about this garden is the formal garden rooms that Ima created for entertaining and to echo some of the classical styles that she saw in Europe, set against the woodland garden with its paths and its native plants, which is the backdrop for these formal settings and how those two play off of each other. Ms. Hogg herself wasn't a very formal individual. 
Matter of fact, she loved the wild nature of the woods of East Texas, where she grew up. So the south side of her home really focused in on that childhood memory. More wooded, more informal, and, and really just more relaxed. Every gardener I've spoken to arrives at their passion in a unique way. And for Bart, it was in this very garden where he fell in love with gardening. I had the fortune to grow up here in Houston, and my earliest memory is coming to Azalea Trail. Um, when I was 10 years old, I have a picture of my family and I in the Clio Garden. It looks identical to today. So I really love the fact that we take into consideration everything that we do is, is what Miss Ima did. Her energy and her love of plants and, and other gardens are still uh, alive in the garden. So there's many aspects of, of this garden that are fascinating and that I, I love to be a part of and contribute to. This is the legacy of Miss Ima Hogg. Her love of azaleas, her love of flowers, gardens, and of art are all reflected in this beautiful setting. Ms. Hogg was a founding member of the River Oaks Garden Club. She asked the River Oaks Garden Club to manage the garden. They stepped up, and since 1966, they have looked after Biobin Gardens by providing a lot of work and love, also with an endowment. The reason why Biobin is so beautiful today is largely to do with the River Oaks Garden Club. Before I go, I have to see two of the six arboreal champions that have been growing in this soil for around a hundred years. This loblolly pine, and this twin trunk sycamore, which is an honorable mention champion tree. I guess in this case, two trunks is not better than one. What makes a tree an arboreal champion, you ask? It's not a healthy diet and lots of exercise. It's a combination of the height of the tree, the circumference of the trunk, and the spread of its canopy. Thanks for joining me for another American Garden Tour here at the Bayou Bend Collection and Gardens in Houston, Texas. I'm Carl Bishop, and this is American Garden Tour.